Would you believe it? Would you believe it? Waiting for the stream to go live. Why isn't that there then? Ah, that is there. Okay, take it off top chat. I'm learning every day. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show that uh, they marched uh, against. Uh, did they? I don't think they did. I don't think it. Anybody cared? Uh, it's that old classic saying, isn't it? Um, you know, when you're in your 30s, you accept that people are talking about you. I always get this wrong. Uh, when you're in your 40s, you know that people are talking about you, but you've made peace with it. And when you're in your 60s, you realise no one was ever talking about you. So, you know, you know when they say things like, uh, there's no such thing as bad press. Mm, I think uh, there is uh, such a thing as bad press. Uh, anyway, welcome to the show. Today is uh, a walk through yonder years. I'm, 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 I'm in the Christmas mood. Uh, I'll be brutally honest with you. It's been one of the toughest years uh, I've ever had uh, to do. Um, just zero work and then the work that did come in kind of got boshed left right and center uh and it's such a funny thing it's like you know <clears throat> i had uh two really good years uh and uh why is that saying entertainment but that's saying comedy uh i had two great years uh uh of, of voiceovers mainly acting's always been a bit up in the air for me uh which i don't mind about but uh voiceovers just died on their ass this year um and literally in a sort of really terrible chan channel five um uh, sort of set of uh you know one of those terrible movies that you see uh i've just had a little bit of work come in uh, but do you know what? I've never been more thankful in my life because it pretty much uh, that and a few other things that have come in and some other jobs that I've done for friends and stuff uh, has made it so I can pay the rent and I am just over the moon. So bring on the Christmas, even though I put my Christmas tree up uh, and it turns out I've lost. Uh, I haven't just lost half of my baubles, uh, half of my decorations in the divorce. Uh, it looks like I've lost everything uh but uh you know oh i should go get my oh no i should go get my faded christmas uh things uh there we go uh let me just do this pop this there do this there do this all the way oh what joy it is to do when you cry yourself to sleep oh the void's outside the void is throbbing the void is looking at me oh my god i'm going to die my lungs will fade out first hurrah huzzah welcome to uh the show that everybody said should stop Today, uh, we're coming through uh, some YouTubes uh, uh, and you may think, well, he's brave and he's talking to nobody. I've done this before. Oh, hang on. Am I even live? Because normally I get an email saying I'm live. Come on, email. Where are you? Make my life be dreamy and true. Send me an email and make it so. So my penis with Wiltshire Farm Foods will grow. What's unsent? No. Flash. Ah, oh, you clean your toilet with it. Anybody? I had that um, error. Please use keyframe frequency of four seconds and less. Current frames. Current frames are not being sent often enough do i want to open a goddamn widget stream health error uh, is this coming across all right uh it's just tell me uh error please use keyframe frequency of four seconds or less currently keyframes are not being sent often enough stream is healthy is it all right there's a bit of a delay on it uh, I can't really do anything about it. Technical issues. Uh, as uh, um, I might just... Uh, uh, do you know when you see something flash up and it goes, Error! It's like a, a light on your uh, on your engine management and you just 
You just look the other way, don't you? <laughs> no, it's still there. Oh, fucking hell. Why? Why is that? Is anybody suffering from any indiscrepancies? Uh, am I dropping frames? Stream is fine. Okay, let's just ignore it then. Bloody great error has just come up on my screen. To the girl I love. Ruby dibby dum dum dibby dibby dum dibby dum dum dibby dum dibby dibby dum. And now it's all it's ever going to show me. Oh, what a week. What a week of in internetery not working. Right, just ignore that huge yellow banner across my screen that says, Error! God damn it. No keyframes drop in, dropped frame 0%. All right, let's ignore it. How are you? Uh... Have you? Are you in the Christmas mood? Welcome here, Steve. Uh, yep, yeah, you finally caught me. Eh? What are we going to do now? Can you dress me up in clothes? Poke me? <clears throat> Rob me of my dignity? Yes, please. Uh, I currently uh, am fully aware of what a massive uh, contradictionary dick I am after saying live on stream, uh, I think last week, that I'm totally over mince pies. Uh, I've literally just ate 12 of them. Not not lit, not just now, but I, this week I've ate 12 mince pies. Uh, I looked outside uh, and I thought about going for a run and I went, ah, oh, it's a bit cold, isn't it? It's a bit cold. We'll do I'll do it later. Uh, I won't. I'll just do other things. And then literally what I do is I get to the end of the day when I haven't done any physical exercise and I go, yes, but my mind worked a lot today. Yeah. Anybody do that? As they later on get in a bath and look at their triple ripples. Um, I'm all right at the minute, but I know what will happen. Uh, I sit on the edge of being a chub lord. And uh, what will happen is uh, I'll... My my stomach intervenes. Now I didn't. I didn't, Ali. Only because I'm, I'm at the age now where uh, I'll suffer for it in the toilet department if I have it for uh, for breakfast. Of course, I have some roughage. <laughs> That's me in the toilet. Um, I have to ring the uh, local powerhouse. Kelvin just pulls a big cord and it comes gushing. Um. What am I talking about? Yeah, i just full of shit, really. <laughs> I put it in a nice way. I've destroyed a load of mince pies. I've just got to come to the thing where I don't actually know. I don't actually know what I like really anymore. Um, sometimes I watch a film and I go, it's rubbish. And then I'll return to it two years later. And I go, oh, it's actually quite good. Uh, last night, uh, I did watch Olympus Has Fallen or whatever. That sort of rattled away in the background. Anybody seen that? Gerard Butler. My name's Gerard Butler, and I'm in this movie. God's sick, man. My name's Gerard Butler. Because he always says his name in it, like Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo, um, is he going to always do that? Probably. Uh, says says the man who has nothing in his bank account uh, to Jason Derulo, who sort of walks around his house going, Jason Derulo. Just fucking knocking it out of the park in his in his super pajamas, uh, but he, but he hasn't got satin peacock pajamas. Why do women get all the best pajamas? You ever been in like you know you go through shops and that, and you go men's horrible. You know, like you wouldn't eat, you don't even keep your pajamas for rags. You know because the the fabric is so rubbish. Women stuff. Amazing. I am very, very jealous of, of, you know, we were watching a summer video in Russia and um, <clears throat> and uh, all the women were wearing all these flowing stuff and looking fabulous. I mean, it's about to change, isn't it, with this new with this new generation. Uh, but I think it's time that men look snazzier. These women get all these all these names. Have you ever, as a bloke, have you ever sort of eaves, eaves dropped in and gone, oh, what, pencil skirt, you say? Oh, a, a dem shelf foie bleu 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 skirt. All these things. And what have we got? Pen, you know, like tight, baggy. 
Also, uh, my favourite thing to do is uh, go to my... What I do is I, I shop at Lidl's, yeah. Uh, treat yourself to something silky. So, Steve, you sound like my sugar daddy. <laughs> Get us a sweet and you can do what you like to me. Um, moving on. Uh, but uh, I go to Marks and Spencer. I, I, I go to Lidl's, right? And I spend 30 quid and I get my entire Christmas shopping. And then I go, well, man cannot live on this weird middle Lidl shit alone. So I pop up to um, Marks and Spencer's and I push the final boat out for about 23 quid. Um, honestly, uh, if, you, if, you, if you get with me, prepare yourself, strap yourself in. Uh, and on the way there, there's a Matterland. Does it matter land? Yes, it does. Uh, and I always pop in there. Uh, and it's one of the most unrewarding experiences ever. Uh, as I just sort of walk around. Matterland. Yeah. I just walk around it and I'll pick up like some things from the home bit. And I'll go, I don't need it. I don't need it. And I forget, you know, you just, you just bugger it off, innit? Forget it. Matalan. It's very lack... I know. It's, it's lacklustery. Matalan. 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 Uh, so, yeah, I'm in a great mood. Uh, Friday is here. Um, and uh, we are on tonight on Twitch. Now, what is Twitch, Terry? Because a, a, a lot of the people watch this after. Uh, in fact, more people watch this after than they actually watch it live. But don't worry, in the new year, it's about to go stratospheric. <laughs> um, but uh, so um, I, I will talk about tonight's Twitch at nine o'clock on Twitch. What is Twitch? Well, Twitch is exactly the same as YouTube. It started out as a gamers platform uh, and now it isn't really as much. Uh, it's got more to do with, uh, well, no, it's still very much gaming, but it's got a lot of just chatting. That is the bracket, just chatting, people making models, wildlife reserves. There's everything under the sun under it. There's... It's called Twitch. There's people and streamers and lots of fun and things you can do with everyone. Never mind the toxicity, city, um, toxicity. The new shop that's opening on street corners. You just walk in and you get some po-faced person. Uh, you do anyway. Um, I don't go to the marina as the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't slag off as the cherry. You're very good. They work hard, and all you people you are getting your cherry. So, da -da! people, the people that work in Asda, wait for me to be a dickhead. Don't, no, don't no, just you be a dickhead. It's me, Zippy the Rule. People in Asda, calm down. I'm not an arsehole. I'm a really nice person. Wait for me to be a dickhead. Before you are. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh... But uh, you go down Asda and you just get it. Uh, uh, you just get it in the neck, don't you? Uh, uh, and uh, also, I spent sixty quid in there. And we said the other day, every time I go in Littles, no matter if I buy the entire store, it's always thirty three pounds. Uh, it's no, that's not true. Uh, so sometimes you go in there and uh, you, you 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 buy some batteries, and uh, that, that's when it pushes you over the edge, isn't it? Uh, when you make a big purchase, when you get your alcohol, your alcohol. Uh, come with me, come with me on a magical world, um, just a little short lunchtime thing, because the big show is tonight, Terry Vision at nine o'clock on Twitch. So do come, because it is a fucking great laugh. Tonight on Terry Vision, it's an homage to the 80s, uh, and basically tonight we have a Christmas Full Guy, Series 3, so pff, you can imagine that's very good. And we have Iron Master, uh, the 1987 film. All of that information is nearly half right, uh, but we have a right laugh, and I'll be having a few beers, uh, and what do we do? We just chat and we do all that. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, of course. Seeing as your Tom Baker is spot on, I'll have a tie the, the canine as well. Canine! Canine was a bit horrible, wasn't it? It's... Canine used to... 
why are all why are all the robots just a bit sort of antsy? You know, do you, do you remember Kit? Kit was a bit like Michael. I don't think that's correct, Michael. Suit yourself, Michael. Kit, why don't we try that new thing that we got fitted at the start of the episode? Okay, Michael, if you think so, holla palooster! That's what Kit used to be like. Um, oh, God, I love Tom Baker. Yes, the Alpha Centauri 9. Yes, the Gallifrey 9. <laughs> Uh, it must be so hard doing the Doctor Who dialogue. <laughs> Mind you. Mind you, they get a fair bang for it, don't they? You know, they think they get, I think they're on over, uh, they're on over 13 quid an hour, uh, Doctor Who's. So, uh, they do all right. Come with me on a magical trip through, um, uh, the 80s and the 90s. Uh, I'm dropping the frequencies, uh, but I don't care. Is it, have, have I dropped anything? Howdy, Paul. Uh, hey, cat. Uh, hey Steve, how you doing? Spangle, uh, and the usual crowd. Yeah, we should form a gang. Uh, and just go out and like, hang out in underpasses. Yeah? I'll be like, it'd be like the middle age gang. Do you remember? No, but I remember Goliath. Okay, Michael. I don't think we should do that, Michael. It'll fuck up my tires. Hullapalooster! <laughs> Michael Knight, a man who was destined to wear a leather jacket in any situation. Red Hot, Red Hot, filming out in the San Diego desert, leather jacket. <sighs> David Hasselhoff, eh? Uh, oh my God. Uh, wasn't Kit... <laughs> The hooded claw. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Penelope. Hello, Pelooster. Oh, Penelope. Coming out tonight, innit? All the. What did we say? There was. Uh, we saw on Channel 5, I think, they're showing Mr. Magoo in the morning. It's a new one. Uh, and uh, I've said before, it's just cruel, Mr. Magoo. He was really in need of help. Oh, Waldo, my. Boy, I'm sitting in my own piss and shit for two days now. And not even a whiff of any Wilkshire Farm foods. Ah. Uh, have you ever noticed in old people adverts, they can't possibly get a disgusting looking old person in it. So you always have someone my age getting out of a like step in bath or something. And you think, well, he don't need anything. Apart from his attitude. Needs to be refined uh, and uh, ease off the xenophobia. Apart from that, that man can quite easily get in and out of a bath. Um, yeah, they just can't do it, can they? They always got retirement. You see two people and they're barely in their 50s holding each other because if we saw old people, we'd hurl. We'd throw up. We wouldn't possibly buy any stair lifts. Michael. Michael, what are you doing? That's my exhaust, Michael. Holla palooster! <clears throat> Fucking Night Rider. Ba -ba -da -ba. There was never as many series as you thought. Like, you would look at that programme, you would think, that must have gone for 12 series. I think it went for, like, three or something. Michael. Michael, I disagree with you, and your attitude sucks. Stop cracking on with every single woman in this. Uh, yeah. Car was a much better laugh. I don't remember Car. Oh, we'll check that out. Can't really get episodes of, uh, full episodes of that on YouTube. Uh, so we'll have a look. Uh, uh yes, Steve, sorry, Chatterbix. 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 Chatterbix for me and you was great, actually. It really put, a uh, it really put, a uh, uh, um, a strut in my butt. I don't know. It really spring in my step. There you go. Really put a spring in my step uh, doing that this week. So uh, there's that uh, as, I, as I fall into the massive depression uh, that is the weekend uh, and I slowly uh, just lie in the corner whilst the void throbs in the side of the room. <laughs> Do you think I'll 
I'll die in my sleep. This is the void. No. You will die in agony. You will die of emphysema. Your lungs will run out. Or you will thrive around on the floor and die terribly. Have a lovely weekend, Terry. Void? Yes. Can anybody possibly love me? No, because you're such a f***ing massive piece of shit yourself. How can anybody love such a turd burger? Hot shit in a tin roof. You stink of poo. Uh, sorry, that's the weekend. Uh, I digress on these things. You shouldn't give me a, a soundboard uh, and let me play. Get him. Come over to my screen room. Uh, oh, God, I need to set up. I need to set it up. Uh, take, let's take a walk through uh, the old school Christmases. Now, I am, as as you look at me uh, and you think, oh, my God, uh, Terry is insanely young. Uh, he's got to be about 11 and three quarters, hasn't he? <laughs> um, but I am too young, I think, for B-Jams. B-Jams was a, a frozen supermarket, frozen in time, uh, sort of a, 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 a pre-runner of um, Iceland. Uh, but I remember talk of it. Um, but I think it was in like my local place upstairs. You just got frozen stuff and that was it. But uh, I often reference B-Jam, but I'm way too young. <laughs> okay, let's get this going. Uh, we've got hundreds of Christmas adverts. Oh, it does look a bit 80s. Maybe B-Jam just wasn't in my area. Asparagus. Yumbo! <laughs> Everything had that sort of, you know, 87% of it was air when it came to desserts, wouldn't it? You'd have a Black Forest Gatto and you'd just put the fork through it and just go <laughs> all the way through. Nothing there. Oh. Lads. We are talking. Four calling beds. Three best mates. Two good to miss. And fast forward. To a party with the page, please. Up. We are talking sharp. DC Cook's that, that BMX is tiny. Hi-Fi or computer with any new or used car or commercial at all DC Cook branches. You got those adverts. Do you remember they just came in? They were barely anything. And they just used to go, uh, come to Dreadford Marores, just off the A23. Ample parking. His and hers watches. And fun for all the family, if by way of fun you mean boring shops. Lemonade, 32 pence. Relax. Our low prices are only half the story. Isn't that or isn't that uh Josh Auckland or something? A diplomatic sure community. Automatic, flash. automatic exposure. Ideally, a five year power pack. Automatic wind on. A what? A five-year power pack? Hell of a charge. And the button that does it all for you. This Kodak disc camera will give you all... He was everywhere, wasn't he? There are cheaper cameras, but then something has to go. The Kodak disc camera. The complete Christmas gift. Disc. There's always something new. If you ever think the new I is new, it's not. It's hot. What the fuck is that? A dip in the ocean. Ocean spray cranberry sauce. What was he eating? Pennywise slashed the price of toys this Christmas, and they've got massive savings on glassware, Christmas decorations, fashion, and gifts for all the family. There's These are the ones. Everyone at Pennywise. Ooh, A-Team and Tonka. Josh Auckland, diplomatic immunity. Fun without pexel, sage and onion, and new apple and herb. Sell it. Original gift box. It doesn't go all soggy and leak. There is a bottle inside the... I say, that's dark. So laugh at posh people. <clears throat> we have the final laugh because we're poor and clever. We know there's a bottle in there. <laughs> Huzzah!
What year does it say this is? 1980s. It's the smooth, clean taste that makes long life a different beer. Quick, pay for the fridge. Given the choice, most people would rather enjoy a long life. Get us a long life. Not very appetizing. Sounds, like, sounds like a milk. This is not much of an advert, really. We're not even going to tell you about our January sale. We just wanted to wish you a happy Christmas. Diplomatic so community. From all of us at no rigs. We'll keep you in touch. Diplomatic community. <clears throat> in Western Australia, they're dreaming of a light Christmas. Cut. Cut. No? Swan premium export. Swan. Swan. Are any of these the best still about? Is harps not still about? Is it? Still love it. Just now, eighty-six CD is out now, featuring Peter Gabriel, David Bowie. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just get past this before we end up with a Bosch. This Christmas, where can you find the party mood in full? Bloody snowing, isn't it? They've been shoving snow down our sodden throats. Like Budweiser, four cans for two pounds twenty-five. Martini Extra Dry for £2.25. Martini Extra Dry. It's always like a knackered heart, you know, like an inch left in it in the mum and dad's drinks cabinet. Presto. This is, if you didn't have an advert in the 80s and 90s, unless you had a song. Was a working class. Oi! Oi! Familiar sight as it runs over your knuckles. But how much longer? Starting at Christmas and played with on average one hour every day. Ordinary batteries will only see you through the beginning of the new year. Yeah, why is it? I've just put a cat flap in uh, and I had to speak to customer service because it's the third microchip cat flap that's died on its ass. Only allowed to use Duracell in it. Do they have shares in the company? Sure. It's nothing worse than getting a shaver for Christmas. It's just like, here you go, you hairy piece of shit. Although I do quite like tools. There's a whole range of gifts in the new Oh, a miniature TV. Hey, weren't you fucking TV. rich Johnny Riches when if you had that? Come and collect. Come and look at this. Come and look at this TV where you can't see anything. Yeah, get down Esso. Get all your presents from there. This Christmas Underwoods is great. And if you want your party snatched... Here he is. Oogie boogie boogie. Underwood. Did your children leave after eight for Father Christmas? Yeah. I must admit, Mine just leave them in I can tuck oh. into some after eights. They are very samey, obviously. But the, it's the match, the matches thing I don't like. Christmas shopping. It's just, it's just minty sugar. It's crap. But uh, something quite nice about. Yes. Yeah, then I can smell my man. Yeah, bless her. If I were buying Christmas presents, which I'm not, I'd buy them from a main post office. For Tiny Tim, the new Christmas stamps in this splendid... Yeah, Tim would be over the moon. For Bob Cratchit, this collector's pack with all the year's special stamps. Oh. And to impress my nephew... This beautiful yearbook. Its price includes eight pounds ninety-two pence worth. Sixteen pound ninety-five. Bargain, but I don't believe in gifts. Matchmakers, I don't like them, Gemma. They're not nice. They're not Christmas. If I gave somebody a book, but even if they ended up being worth a fortune later on, you'd still be pissed off. Well, they're not that hot if you put them in his hand. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Children unsupervised by a huge fire. 
Add a touch of real Christmas spirit this year. Have a magical Christmas with Matt King Cole on album, cassette, or compact disc. Where can you find Christmas presents people will love opening? Whether they enjoy discovering new worlds or new hobbies. The latest Miniature snooker ta uh, pool snooker table. Did, did, did you ever get one of them? Let's face it, the average house couldn't accommodate a proper one. It was one that, when you leant over it, it just knocked everything everywhere. I remember I got one that the the cues were like bits of plastic on it, and, and, and it had a spring, and you pulled it back, and it went dunk. Absolute. Imagine all the shit that was bought that's just utter landfill. Imagine how many Castle Grey skulls are, are twenty foot under the <laughs> under the soil, not going anywhere. Years to come, they'll find it and go, what the bloody hell is a big track? <clears throat> yeah, rocking if you had a trailer, you could put an apple in it. Toys R Us wasn't a thing until the 90s, I don't think. Actually, no, it's like 86, isn't it? I don't know. Toys R Us was a game changer, man. I mean, we went there when we were still too way old, you know, because it was just something so much better to do than the average high street what's going on here then oh by the way guys thank you so much for your support can you please please click the bell right now uh, and help me um so we started out we need four thousand hours to go affiliate i know i keep talking about it but it will be a real game changer for me uh because i don't have a huge internet presence i don't have a huge presence uh, but uh, we started out at 231 hours uh, when I first started doing this about three weeks ago now. Uh, we hit we hit uh, 999 uh, as of last night. So we're probably about 1,000 hours in. So we only need 3,000 more. So if you're looking at it from a, a glass uh, uh, half full, uh, we're absolutely rocking it. And uh, that's because of you guys coming back uh, and watching it and being part of it. So if you can, please click that bell. Because it will let you know every time I'm on. I know everybody's busy. Is that her? So thank you so much. Oh, imagine this on Christmas Day. Thanks. I'll put it on, shall I? No, you're all right, Dad. Put it on when put it put it on a bit later. Yeah, we'll all listen to it. Da, 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 why not try and blow your brains out to a song that goes nowhere? It's really boring, isn't it? Oh, God. Dirge. Yeah, in the advert. In the advert, bloody Big Macs look great. When you get them, it looks like a... Here he is. Why is it the crap beers have so much money? Like Foster's has always had such an amazing advertising campaign. Carling Black Label did back in the day. But literally, you could piss it faster than you could get drunk. Is that why people like it? You can just hit the pub up and not get. That's the problem with that new IPA, Wellington donkey juice. It's like two pints and you're just in a ditch. White label. Sorry, I have to skip past this because we'll get a Bosch. It's all for those personal gifts. Yeah, the personal gifts. Classic fragrances from Montaric. Style parfum de toilette. The elegant and romantic perfume. Doesn't matter, it's got toilet in the sentence. Tweed, the timeless classic. And fashion perfume spray. A vibrant fragrance full of French flair. Classic gifts by Montaric. We've got Christmas wrapped up. Oh, thank you. 
Give some more <laughs> video with some fun and games this Christmas. Like the witches of East. Blind me. They have lots of fun playing tennis. Such a strange end to that film, isn't it? Or having little party games. But goodness knows how they play Postman's Knock. Woolworths, we've got a gift for Christmas. Turkey, sprouts, onions. What else do I need? Prince's ham. It's only seventy-nine pence a pound. Can't bigger, bigger, bigger trolley. I should imagine. Can you get nowhere with that? <laughs> yeah, it's such a bad back pushing that around, wouldn't you? Mind you, you could pop one foot in each one and just whiz around the shop as you get terrible groin strain. 79p ham. None of us would turn down 79p ham. Soda streams. Oh shit, I didn't get an email saying I was online. This Christmas, give the gift of music with these superb records and cassettes from Bronco. The whole family will enjoy songs for a winter's night with George Hamilton the Fourth. The great country music. Oh, hang on, got a whiz through this as well. Cross and Blackwell. Oh, I just bought some from Middle Little. I'm a fucking rich man. What does the great British pork pie demand? The bar. The great British family, and they'll say. Who the hell has Branston pickle on the table at Christmas dinner? Go on, disgust me. Maybe the tea time. Oh, stuff of dreams, wasn't it? Sky Electrics. Christmas. Because now is when you need to save money. A sofa stream years ago. <laughs> That's called a nap. Fresh cream. Go on. Why was cream so big in the 80s? Don't answer that. I need to do a test, actually. Christmas isn't Christmas without one. Yeah, look, go on, give me that, that you got that in that bull crap. The Here we go. Woolworths. I went to um, one of Marty Wilde's kids' wedding, uh, and I sat next to him. <laughs> Sam Brown, in it. Uh, and he was bloody brilliant. Talk about a great partner to sit at dinner table with. He had some amazing stories. As you all know, uh, well, if you're a Twitcher, uh, you know that I had an, uh, I went for an Indian in Reykjavik with Cliff Richard. Um, not as good a storyteller as Sam Brown. Oh. Make your Christmas dreams come true. All the very best for Christmas from Rackham's and Cavendish. Rackham's. The Mail's new instant casino. 16 winning days to Christmas. A chance to win £50,000 and bonus prizes every day. Play tomorrow in the Mail on Sunday. Yeah, baby. If you're still puzzled about gifts for Christmas this year, then here is yeah. the perfect answer. The classic collection. Telstar have issued these ten beautiful box sets. Country, party, classical, romantic, and many more. The classic collection is an ideal gift for everyone. Each box everyone. has three records or cassettes with at least 50 titles in each set. And for only $5.99, they're terrific value too. The classic yeah, collection I'm not getting emails anymore to say I'm going live. That is annoying. Get your big double issue of TV Times today. Today. Light, delicious maitre d' mince pies. At 52p for six, they're a Christmas essential. Only from Gateway. Gateway. As you all know, it's a Gateway drug. 
There's a more exciting place to shop this Christmas, where you'll find everything from that big surprise to a stocking filler, where you won't feel the pinch. It's like the same people are doing all the adverts, isn't it? You can shop till late on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and you'll always be sure of a warm welcome. It's very dark. I guess because it's always being shot in little studios. Your list this Christmas. Toffee box, chocolate box, big box, little box, fancy box, Christmas box. What's the day after Christmas? Thornton's Day. Oh, bloody Thornton's. I had, I had a birthday cake from there once. And if I'd have taken it back and thrown it at them, uh, I'd have killed everybody in the shop. Fucking thing was solid. Ruby and diamond ring for 45 quid. Mm. Are they giving it away? Didn't the owner blow his legs off by just saying I wouldn't buy any of this shit? Didn't he say that in like the 90s in the press or something and literally his share prices went bottom? What'd I pay for my mince pies? Like Littles, mate. Hey, I'll bet he drinks. Carly Black Lay Blads. Lads. Hey. What's that? But she drinks Carling Black Label. Well, we'll be Christmas without a few repeats. Well, that looks thoroughly miserable. Don't want any of that. Your Karen is so quiet, you'd hardly know she was in. Who cares if you find just the right present? Keep your kid quiet. 52p? No, no, don't be silly. It would have been uh, just, just, just under a pound. That's why mum's gone to Iceland. Ho, 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 ho. Now that the festive season's upon us, here's an ideal gift idea. Here he I is. I haven't got a bad word to say about him. With a mercury button. So they can save money on long distance calls. Ho, 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 ho. Buy a phone with a mercury button from Argus, Curry's, Dixon's and other electrical retailers. What did a mercury button do? What did a Mercury button do? He definitely deserves a magic moment. Magic moments are Ratners. Forget the usual stocking fillers this Christmas. New low call from Vodafone is a low user tariff. Vodafone. No price connection, no price line oh, we must have wandered into the 90s. There's no way this is. Yeah, 90s. Are higher, but then... <clears throat> You'll only be using the service. Terrifying <laughs> animatronics. New low call from Vodafone. Paul Whitehouse for life. Did you find just the right present? Oh, no. Don't bother with it. Yay. me. Are you Santa? Oh. Refresh the spirit of Christmas with great value. Not a Coke Zero in sight. Dad, Dad, it's Santa Claus. Oh, yeah? And I'm a red nosed reindeer. What, Dad? Dad, you are so disappointing. Christmas, give the gift of magic that will last a lifetime. Walt Disney's classic, Cinderella. Put them together. Then discover the fun when you give the biggest little mystery in history. Disney's newest classic, Basil, the great mouse detective. This is Thingy, isn't it? We watched him the other night. This is Sarah Green's husband. What was he called? This Christmas, Mike, give him a gift that will help bring you a little candy. Closer. The revolutionary Gillette sensor, Jerry McJerry. What was his name? Past.
Mike Smith. Yeah. <laughs> he liked his helicopters, didn't he? You weren't anybody in the 80s if you didn't fly around in a in an helicopter. Look at that fucking green screen piece of shit. It's like Ray Winston. W.H. Smith's, which is amazing. It's still in business. I know just what to get Joe. He's crazy about Sonic the Hedgehog. What can I what get What was Karen? that? She's always cooking. Oh, it's great. Always experimenting. These look like fun. He'd love to find them in his docking. Yeah, they look like fun. That you find just the right present. What were they? Chocolate yes. suppositories? Okay. Little Father it's Christmases easy. go up your bum. What the fucking hell? Daddy, mm -hmm. what would happen if I got in some extra Coburns this Christmas? I, think you I, d I didn't enjoy their proximity. Uh, I'll be honest with you, that, that felt a bit uncomfortable. I know, I know a lot of it's in my mind, but... Do join us tonight at nine o'clock on Twitch for the biggest show, the penultimate Christmas show. And then our Christmas party on Twitch is on Thursday from eight o'clock. Do join me on both of my streams uh, because I'm kicking the crap out of it over the Christmas period and I'm really, really enjoying being able to talk to people uh, because the ankle the ankle tag doesn't allow me. News of the world. Here's a recipe for last minute Christmas puddings. Take five ounces of self-raising flour, add baking powder, some Sainsbury's mixed spice or not. and sift into a large bowl. Next, add some butter and two eggs. Now, pour they're going to do this thing at the end where they go, or just buy it. With about half a can of stout. Surely. Add to the bowl half a can of stout in your gravy. I mean, in your... jar of Sainsbury's luxury mm. mince meat, a diced mm. cooking apple, mm. some currants, chopped roast hazelnuts, and lemon and orange Well, uh, this Christmas, uh, I'll be <laughs> popping in lots of people's houses, a bit like the, you know, Scrooge the morning after when he's all... That'll be me. Just running around the streets of Brighton. Shouting. In me head. That that last scene's going on. But in reality, I'm just quite drunk. Oh my God, bless her. Look at her. God, there was such a thing for her. Christmas is a time of many emotions. Frustration. Rejection. This bloke did so many adverts. Envy. But for Christmas cheer, explore our vast range of drinks at Tesco, like our Bergerac. This Hofmeister 24 pack. 24 pack. And this 12 pack of Becks. Tesco. Every little helps. Yeah, it does. Let's get down there. In the people tomorrow, get your Christmas TV first. The only free glossy Christmas TV magazine. A complete oh, Silla Black. Guide for Christmas because I was a kid, I just was not interested in Silla Black. Hello, every fucker. Well, welcome to Christmas. Oh, surprise, surprise. Oh, Dad, Dad! The tracking's gone. What idiots put this video on long play? Adverts got infinitely more sophisticated, haven't they? Uh, in the in the nineties, it's a massive jump. Oh my god! It's all quite royal and regal, isn't it? 
Christmas for some reason in the 80s. They've thought everybody wants this refined, but yet the top of the pops has got like Slade going, it's Christmas. Oh, denim. I bought some Old Spice underarm deodorant. I thought I might quite like the uh, the sort of retro smell of it, you know. Uh, it just stung. <laughs> this is recently, by the way. QC cream. British sherry. Always salty like that when all the voiceovers were slightly overweight, plump men talking about Mr. Kipling. Mr. Kipling came home from his annual Christmas do and barfed all over the floor. Looking at all the red wine and currants and shit, he said, I've had a good idea for the mince pies. Up chuck Christmas pie special of everybody in your life. Give her tweed this Christmas. Give her what? Tweed. Here you go, darling. Tweed. Thank you, darling. Tweed. Tweed. This is very badly haunting. Christmas and a half. That was so haunting and took way too long. Everyone's talking about this really beautiful carol. Tinsel, look at the fire hazard that place must buy a drink. Carol. Merry Christmas, Fuzzy. Oh, I like a bit of tinsel. It? It's a birdhouse. It's a Polaroid camera. Take a picture. Ow. Just point it and press the button. That's gonna be over his head. Point it at what? It's us. I know, it really... If <laughs> you got handed a bottle of tweed. Thank you, darling. Tweed. 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 Yeah, but the film cost a billion pounds, didn't it? Like, every picture had to be really, really thought about because it cost so bloody much. Bradford. Shoplifters through the roof. Hey! Mr. Kipling did an incredibly large shit. It wouldn't flush. But looking down at the contents of the bowl, it gave him his inspiration for the new Christmas pudding. I bet you just call us that later. Not tonight, it won't. They've just closed. <laughs> Darling Black Label. That is disgusting. We won a turkey in the raffle. <laughs> it was July before we had to feed the cat again. Grapes in it. The buttermen. Country life butter such a success. So firstly for you dairy farmers and your lovely cows. Oh, we are the lads from country. They always do this, don't they? Do you remember when they the little black currants for Ribena and then eventually they put like leaves over their nipples and genitalia and you go, hang on, they're the black currants, aren't they? I mean I don't envision them having sex. But they always sort of sell this sort of happy-go-lucky, like, even when you're buying meat, they show the lovely farm and everything on it, and like, yeah, let's not pretend we're not literally eating these people. Who were the little homemade ones? You remember the ones with the bowler hats? Was that the Coleman sauce? Was that them? 
And you had the lure pack. Butter guy, didn't you? Oi! Finally for you charming housewives out there, this is just for you. Hope you like it. Every morning his lady wife does eggs and toast and country life. You'll never put a better bit Home pride. Home pride. It's creamy, smooth and tasty too. It's English and it's good for you. Spread it on thick to breakfast time. It's not every butter that tastes so fine. She knows what I like, this wife of mine. And he gets it all the time. It's like 1950s. What the hell? And from all of us, we wish Piss you off! You bunch of melts. Get out of it. Christmas is butter off without you. <laughs> Another beer one. The sun is out. The sky is blue. There's not a cloud. Yeah, loads of cannibalism going on and people not really, you know, things not really worried about being eaten. I want to see an advert where one of those Ribenas is just screaming as it gets crushed. And then a load of other Ribenas just crying. Yeah, that's true. Bungle was a right wet weekend, wasn't he? He was slaving her tits off. Yeah. Was it Linda Bellingham? Was that her name? She was a lovely mum, wasn't she? Like one of them mums that you used to, you know, when you used to go around to meet your mate, you used to spend. Any, anybody else, you just shouted for your mate from his gate, but. Kids with mums like that, they got extra attention. I knocked at the door. The Box of Delights, the boy. Hello, Mrs. Stewart, is Graham in? Really? Enjoy a good read with BBC Books, including the spectacular Kingdom of the Ice Bear, The Triumph of the West, and from a new natural history series, The Living Isles. Oh, man, I don't miss the 80s. <laughs> no internet. Because the lady loves milk tray at Christmas. When's the last time you had a milk tray? Whatever you've forgotten or run out of this Christmas or New Year, batteries, biscuits, videos, coke, ice cream, just about anything, don't forget 7 Eleven. No weird advert. We've got it all in one. Harp. So if you're missing something this holiday, don't go crazy. It's made me want a Guinness, actually. I've not had a Guinness for a longest time. Bit haunting when they paint over film, isn't it? It's a bit... It looks like a huge ball age. wishing you an even whiter Christmas. Even whiter Christmas. Boots, but Boots had everything, but it was always very clinically looking, you know, it still always looked, it looked like a chemist when it really wasn't a chemist. My brother bought a Commodore 64 X display from Boots. Had to come home on the bus, ask mum and dad for like 30 quid or something, you know, to go and get it because it's such a bargain and... Dad took him back down in the Hillman Imp. Tastes like an angel crying on your tongue. Come on, everybody. 
It, the eighties, the eighties was all about having a laugh at the upper class, wasn't it? It yeah. was all like we were, we were now being let into this fictitious joke that uh, you know we're we're the ones in true command, you know, and they're all a, they're all silly. They don't even know that the stuff is in a bottle. They think it's in boxes. <laughs> You wouldn't turn it down, would you? Steve had a ZX Spectrum. Oh, yeah, now you're talking here. Yeah, no, all <laughs> your boots. Pizza Hut uh, did me out of some cookies. I ordered it online in the pandemic and the cookies didn't arrive. I went to make a complaint and you can't make a complaint. And I got so middle-aged idiot on it that I went to the, you know, I sent emails out and then I suddenly realised, let it go. Just went so far down the rabbit hole of going, I will teach them a lesson. <laughs> uh, but obviously I do now because I will never order online again. Fucking Pizza Hut's been open for a billion years, isn't it? <laughs> Afternoon. Mr. Kipling. Pass some kidney stones. Whilst I saw him writhing around in agony. His eyes bloodshot. <laughs> I had an idea for fruit pearls. Extra cover for your personal possessions in December and January. Free of charge with our select household policy. Because the visitors you get at Christmas aren't always welcome. Guardian Royal Exchange. It's our policy to improve your policy. Yeah, that's... Whether you're Blimey. after the latest workout video from Kathy Smith or a brand new collection of song and dance from Kylie Minogue, a video makes a great gift. Approaching middle ear. And with family films like Steven Spielberg's Inner Space, Inner Space, Ghostbusters, and hot new movies like Blind Date, you'll find something for everyone. Under Couldn't have had a movie bigger than Ghostbusters for kids. Like all my mates had glow in the dark, uh, uh, you know. Ghostbuster hoodies and I had a hoodie but it was from the market it didn't glow in the dark I so ungrateful as a kid I was like mum got me it and I was like it doesn't glow in the dark mum well done well done for giving a shit kids Also, Appletizer in the 80s was the stuff of dreams. Appletizer and Orangina. Do they still make Orangina in those little cute bottles? I fucking loved all of that. It was like those crisps that you had to add the salt to. I know I was doing most of the work, but... Let me at it. Fizzy water. You wouldn't have got that in the 80s, would you? You want a blooming list. I'd better try boots for this lot. I agree. I should be knighted. Just what I'm looking for. Uh, not quite I sure why, but... Something jazz! Serious. Forgot all about that. Mm, very professional. An electric typewriter. Now, let's see. Mmm, they look tasty. The kids will love you. Mm-hmm. No, I think that's the blooming lot. Whoops. Now I'm for it. Oi, I've got something for you. And I've got something for you too, my dear. Right. From Boots. <laughs> There's a Christmas present for... Must be forking out lots, Father Christmas, isn't it? Salt and shake, that was it, Tom. I loved it. It was just... Give me give me something to do, you know? <laughs> and I'll, I'll meet you there. It's like a soda machine. <laughs> oh. Plastic seat. But back then, when I remember when you ordered stuff, it took about six months to come, didn't it? Now, nothing came next week. And because we're curries, you'll always find great value for money. I know. 
but they made it all so easy. Curries. <laughs> We're in debt for life and I hate you. Oh, well. Good luck in this lot. <laughs> Lucy, hi. Did you find your friend, Harvey? Yes. What, what did he come at? Glass of sherry. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Drink Harvey's Bristol Green. Yeah, Bullseye wasn't bad for. Do you remember the worst gift ever? It's on. It's online. It shows you uh, his and her vouchers for clothes or something. And these two middle-aged fat blokes have won it, and uh, it's like you know. Where are you going for Christmas? I'm going to Rambler. It, it's so weird. Then he shaved shaven. He's got video tape. Sam with himself phone. It's for you. That would be a bone of contention, wouldn't it? Get your dad a load of video. Get your dad some video cassettes, and he's like, well, you're going to use these, you little shit. Black and Decker have everything you could want for Christmas. Think what you could do. I know. But they had this one, uh, they brought it out at Halloween. It was called Witch's Brew. I fucking loved it. And then it was back in the day where they just stopped making things, and you were like, God damn it. The ease and precision of the scroller jigsaw. Or the super power driver with all the power you'll ever need. For the ideal Christmas gift all round the house, think what you can do with a Black and Decker. I'd actually be chuffed with that, Black if, I, if I'm Decker honest. everything you could want for Christmas. Take the cordless super dustbuster. I'd have that. Convenient way to clean up unexpected God, spills. must have been rubbish back then. Or the Black and Decker wallpaper stripper. The faster, easier way to strip... Oh, paper. God, with that much so reservoir, how much would that... Gift. That would have lasted two and a half minutes, wouldn't it? That Just dribbling all over your wrists. With two fantastic ways to save, no one's making a bigger noise than H. Samuel this Christmas. There are massive reductions on gifts for everyone. Like this nine carat gold neck mitten bracelet set at just $49.95. This nine carat solid gold watch at $99.50. This musical jewelry box at $19.95. Musical jewelry box, anybody? But that's not all. Remember, click the bell, please. Click the bell if you've been here for the first time. It really helps me as a streamer. Uh, and also, if you could find it in your hearts to sub and like uh the thingy i know there's three things and they've made it a bit too much complicated but basically uh clicking the bell lets you know when i'm on and you can always turn that notification off but it really does uh help me in the grand scheme of things because <laughs> what were you doing with it uh yeah probably yeah mine does Oh, car alarms. Do you remember they just went off every seven seconds when they first were invented? They were just like, oh. All retro watching is an operation, you tree. This will get a warm reception. Cool and fresh. Just like me. Great reactions. Oh, Great God. Presents. Coffee. Mm. And biscuits. Wow. I don't like those tinned biscuits. They're always really dry. I will not buy any tinned biscuits this. You know when you're really ashamed of yourself and you're like a week into the Christmas and you're... You've eaten everything you everything you like, and then you're you, you, you're on the outer fodder. <laughs> you catch a look at yourself. I said I get to the stage where my gut intervenes with uh, you know uh, eating. You know when you lean forward to go pick something up from the table and your gut fires your back. You have to do three rocking attempts to get over your belly. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's when you know. We're all right, as long as you're not playing music, I think. Arrange on a baking tray and brush with melted butter. 
Well, they look all right. But they would not look like that if I made them. I just hurl them in my mouth. I'd inhale them. I can't resist a little Sainsbury's ice cream, too. Well, I mean, it is Christmas. <laughs> Sainsbury's, everyone's favorite ingredient. Yeah. I'm starving. Watching this shit. Uh, we've gone to 90s, I think. Yeah, we're back in 90s. We're scooching through 90s and 80s. Christmas adverts. Uh, we did do some Christmas eye dents, but they get a bit uh they they get a bit weird. They get a bit boring. Have we done anything about the Christmas shopping yet, love? We don't worry. Uh, Martha, go on. Who cares that you find just the right present for everyone? What's the fortune? Hundred and twenty seven pounds. Who cares enough to put together a free gift guide that's full of good ideas? Well, I'm going to have a bath. Who cares that you find mm. just the right present? Gets a different kind of magazine out. How long will you be in the bath, darling? Santa's down at Children's World. Ho, ho, ho. But wrap up snug and cosy, mind. Snow, snow. Technology's just whizzed along, hasn't it, really? If you go from the 80s adverts to the 90s, you've got a lot of animation going on in the 80s. And then... over 4,000 great value gifts. Look in your Argos oh, God, it was all about the uh, defreezers, wasn't it? Low prices. Where can you find permanently low prices on all sorts of toys? And Christmas crackers. Ta -ta. On your drink. On fruit and nuts. And all kinds Nothing but a fucking cracker walnut open and then... Sit next to a water butt. They're so dry, those crack them open and put it. Like, he might as well eat sawdust. All them nuts that used to crack them. Let's not be silly. You need you need a bit of salt with them and some something to have happened to him rather than. Here she is. Don't book your holiday until you've seen Lundpolly's discounts. The huge getaway. Ooh. Cilla Black. I don't think she she even had a massive fan base that... Oh, I'm just a little shit, I know. I was just a kid and I was like, why is Cilla Black everywhere? Lots of surprises for Christmas. Merry Christmas! Thank you. I wonder what it is. It's aftershave. <laughs> you little shit. Merry Christmas, Auntie Susan. It's perfume. Will you let us in? It's fucking freezing. Thank you for being my babysitter. It's for your bath. Oh. Oh. Have to whiz through these, otherwise we get boshed. Back to the 80s. Pain at last! <laughs> Gemma Creighton is currently appearing and now playing our song at the Shaftesbury Theatre London. Bit of an effort. Just over half an hour, there's more comedy with Janet and Co. Yes. 
I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. It's Sandy, isn't it? He was doing 180 miles an hour in his wheelchair, madam. <laughs> You can see why when uh, Only Fools and Horses come along, everyone was so f- amazed that we could look at normal people because so many French fields, um, May to December or whatever, it was, it was all very middle class. Oh, God, Liza. She's shimmying it, isn't she? Fucking hell, something says... Something says something's aiding her through that performance. And I wouldn't be surprised if she finished 20 minutes earlier than rehearsals. And... That's him, isn't it? From Drop the Dead Donkey. A little price for a lot of car. At a constant 56 miles per hour, it does 50.4 miles per gallon. How much? 50.4 miles per gallon. And it can take up to when you're when you're retro watching, you nearly have to have a disclaimer all the time to apologize. Oh, he's from Brushstrokes. Popular. Bobula. What a strange two thousand four hundred and eighty nine pounds. <laughs> Advertising cocaine. It's my life, and I do it alone. Yeah, this is, the advert was uh, thirty seconds. Oh. Blah. Yeah. Happy Christmas, Dad. Here's some tiles. And a cupboard. Yeah, think big, guys. Queensway's big Q sale starts Boxing Day. Furniture, bedding and carpets down in price. Down. Double bed, now $74.95. Half price. £100 and more of hundreds of three-piece suites. Like the Manor, now $189.95. Who, what were who these people with such big incomes that could go out on the Boxing Day sales and buy sofas and carpets and stuff? My family was wiped out by the time that Christmas had come. Ah, oh, I forgot all about this. Talk about a way to save for all the things you need at home. Carpeting and coffee pots, furniture... You're yeah, not alone. A way to save. None of us need to be told how to fucking save. You just save. Hello, we're here to talk about saving. Yes, have you tried saving? Yes. Save. At save us. Late again, snack on the train. Gin and what? With young Perkins. Oh, that's the wrong sound, isn't it? That's not a digestion sound, is it? It's like a bloody carry on camping sound. It's normally, normally four is followed by. At seven, disaster hits Los Angeles when the earthquake strikes. They indicate another pre shock, probably before noon today. And if it happens? Then the big one follows this is... eight hours. Oh, God. I hated these things. Then at 9.30, the thoughts of Chairman Alf at Christmas. Oh, God. I said, we ain't snobbish down at West Ham. No, we might come from the East End of London, mate, but we don't mind who we mix with. Not like some of your clubs, buddy. Arsenal, Liverpool, they're too frightened to venture out of first division, they are. <laughs> At 10.15, a host of celebrities gather for the audience with Dame Edna every day. Yeah, amazing. I'm going to be doing now you're talking. Thing of my career, exposing myself 
and making TV history on his wonderful show on Boxing Day. Then on Christmas Saturday, there's action and adventure. At ten past seven, Oliver Reed and Mark Lester star in The Prince and the Pauper, a classic tale of mistaken identity. It is. Didn't he go on to be Michael Jackson's best mate? I was reading it, and then he said that Michael Jackson's kids were his kids. Google it. It's fucking true. Call him off, Snapper, or I'll be wearing that tripod round his neck. And on Christmas Sunday, Dennis Norden's World of Television takes a look at the funny oh. and unbelievable things on television around the world. And then at 20 past eight, Staying On, starring Trevor Howard and Celia Johnson as an elderly couple left behind in a changing India. What a show. Weekend entertainment oh, with that, ITV. that sounds wonderfully Christmassy. And we continue your Here he is. Doing now. It's time for This Is Your Life. One of the nicest guys in television. Apparently, I was looking up about all this lot that, you know, you used to turn up and, and BC used to give you a wave. I was looking at all of them. Booney back, booney back. On Christmas Sunday at 6.15, children sing Christmas in Salisbury Cathedral. Than some old git. Oh shit, I've gone right over time. Do join me tonight at nine o'clock on Twitch. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining me uh, today as we just went for a little bit of a waffle uh, about things uh, and stuff and such alike. Uh, you can uh, click that bell, click that bell, like this, uh, uh, like it, uh, like it a lot, um, the, the, the video uh, and subscribe, do all those things to really help me. We've had a fantastic week here. Uh, if I have uh, a moment, I will pop on lunchtime tomorrow. Uh, as the great, uh, the, gr the the great whoring of myself to try and reach the dizzy heights of four thousand uh, hours of uh, of watch TV, uh, we're currently, as of today, at nine hundred ninety nine, uh, and I'm over the moon because it means a lot to me. So thank you so much for being here. Now Twitch is just like YouTube. A lot of people think it's a gaming thing uh, and it's also available on some smart TVs, your Roku boxes and all sorts of stuff like that. And you can watch me through there. We do not play games. We sit and chat and it is a social event. And uh, I really think if you've not been to it, you should check it out because from the moment it starts with the Terry Vision credits and stuff, uh, it is a, a really, really wonderful Friday night. Even if you just pop in for 10 minutes, uh, do have a think. Uh, there is the Twitch link just up there. Uh, you, you hope the film is about Christmas? No. Uh, we've got our Christmas due on Thursday and we'll have a Christmas film there and no episode of Full Guy. But tonight on Twitch, it's a Christmas special of Full Guy. Lee Majors up against it yet again, but yet having a heartwarming time. And the film is Iron Master tonight. Uh, it's a great night. There's beers, tears <laughs> and some of your greatest fears. Thank you so much. Look, if you can't join me, take care of yourself. Don't let the fuckers beat you down. Uh, be your own best friend. Honestly, there's no point worrying about shit. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But most of the time, it tends to iron itself out. So watch your catastrophizing. And when I'm giving you advice like this, I'm pretty much talking to myself because um, th this month's been terrifying uh, and it turns out everything's all right. So I'm over the moon about that. Uh, I'm just going to go and have a huge cry in the front room about it but uh, the tears of joy thank you so much for joining me join me tonight at nine o'clock it's because of you lot yet again popping up and popping in and the people that will watch this after it's been on uh, that makes this uh, fantastic and we are growing really really steadily and fantastically and thank you so much for being here have a wonderful afternoon and I will see you soon